will be reviewing the Anycubic Wash and Cure Machine 2.0. Resin printing has become significantly more accessible to hobbyists over the past few years and continues to grow every day. Unlike FDM, the most common type of 3D printing among hobbyists today, resin printing does require a bit more post-processing after the prints are finished, specifically washing and UV curing. While a lot of people have made DIY stations for their washing and curing processes, a lot of equipment such as the Anycubic Wash and Cure 2.0 has entered the market to eliminate the extra effort of building something from scratch and to maximize the efficiency of post-processing resin prints. Like its name suggests, the Anycubic Wash and Cure machine is a two-in-one machine that both washes and cures prints. This significantly simplifies things since you only need one machine for the entirety of post-processing. Even better, the machine is fully automatic and you can cure your prints by simply pressing a few buttons. The machine retails for $149 on Anycubic's website. Its dimensions are 225 millimeters long by 235 millimeters wide by 365 millimeters tall, or 8.9 inches by 9.3 inches by 14.4 inches. It weighs in at 3.7 kilograms or 8.2 pounds. The wash and cure station comes with a cure platform, power cord, reflector, service card, stainless steel bearing, tool set, user manual, washing basket, washing container, and washing rack. First, let's talk about the washing process. When a print is finished, it will have a slimy and sticky coat of uncured resin on its surface, which is why all parts must first be washed in a cleaning solution. This cleaning solution is most commonly isopropyl alcohol, preferably with a concentration of at least 90%. The wash and cure machine has a detachable washing container that you can fill with cleaning solution. Inside that container is a small agitator or rotor that is powered by magnets to spin both clockwise and counterclockwise. The washing container has a lid to seal it shut and allow for a safer, splash-free washing process. There are two ways to wash your prints. The first method is using the washing rack. This rack is designed to hold the printer's platform and wash the part without removing it from the print bed. I would like to note that the rack is meant to hold the build platform of any cubic smaller printer, such as the Photon Mono, Photon Mono SE, and Photon S, and unfortunately does not fit the build platform for the Photon Mono X. If you're looking for a machine that can support a larger build platform, such as the one on the Photon Mono X, Anycubic recently released the Wash and Cure Plus machine. This machine allows for a larger hanging cleaning size of 192 millimeters long by 120 millimeters wide, which is the size of the Photon Mono X's build platform. The second wash method is using the wash basket. This basket can hold parts up to 120 by 74 by 165 millimeters or 4.7 by 2.9 by 6.5 inches. In this case, parts must be removed from the build platform and dropped into the basket. Regardless of which method you choose, ensure the entirety of the print is submerged in the cleaning solution before you start washing. Once your print is in the washing container and it's sealed, replace the UV protective cover and select how long you'd like to wash your print for. You can set any time up to 60 minutes. Then all you have to do is wait. Once it's done washing, the machine will beep. Now let's talk about curing. After you've washed your print, you'll need to remove all supports and then cure it. I find it easiest to soak the prints in warm water for about 20 seconds and the supports break right off. This curing process will then smoothen the surface and fully harden the resin. Remove the wash container from the machine and replace it with a curing platform. Make sure the reflector is placed below the curing platform as well if it wasn't already. The great thing about this machine is that the curing platform rotates, so the model will cure evenly on all sides, eliminating potential warping or uneven curing. To use the curing feature, simply place your model on the curing platform, replace the UV protective cover, and select how long you'd like to cure it for. The general rule is that if your model has a diameter of 30 millimeters or 1.2 inches, you only need to cure it for two minutes. If your model is bigger than 30 millimeters, or if it has a very complicated shape and surface area, then opt for longer curing times. The machine is capable of curing parts up to 140 millimeters or 5.5 inches in diameter and 165 millimeters or 6.5 inches tall. The machine cures using 12 405 nanometer UV lights. A nice feature of this machine is that if the UV protective cover is removed or bumped out of place at any time, the machine will pause itself until the cover is replaced. Overall, while you can make your own washing cure stations from scratch, 
These stations are usually not nearly as easy to use or efficient as they can be, and they can oftentimes lead to screw-ups that would be otherwise unnecessary. The AnyCubic Wash and Cure 2.0 makes your life so much easier by saving you the effort of making your own equipment and ensuring your part is post-processed correctly with the push of a few buttons. This machine, in my opinion, is totally worth it. For more information as well as purchasing options, please check out the review on total3dprinting.org. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.